Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me here on Music with Todd Ledbetter. I'm glad you're here today. Thank you so much for checking in with me. We are back with some David Sylvian and uh, we're going to check out a song that was uh, recommended called Laughter and Forgetting. So I'm super excited to get back with some more David Sylvian and uh, check out what he's got to offer and especially a song that's been recommended by him. So let's get on into that. And uh, it's not very long, it's a little about three minutes. So let's check it out. Running like a horse between the trees, the ground beneath my feet. Gives me something to hold on to With the reins around my heart Guided by hands that spread life before my very eyes Well, every hope falls down on its knees Every day, every second, every hour we're inside Love's my only guide Are these the years for laughter and forgetting? that was cool um he is voice his voice is just so uh engaging i, I want to say smooth but it's not really smooth although it is his his singing style is but he's got a real uh powerful powerful voice kind of in a lower register you know it's very very present uh, a great feel um, from note to note. He's the, he's smooth that way, you know. From note to note, as he as he sings his melodies, very 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 nice. The beautiful piano that accompanied was accompanying him was uh, perfect for for that song. I really like the sort of just drone of the keyboard in the background, you know, kind of what they ended with there. But that went on just almost like hardly unchanged uh throughout the whole song uh it was kind of an interesting 
atmosphere that it led to the song gave it a little bit more of a tension in a way that uh, it might not have otherwise had. It might have been a little prettier without that, uh, without that sort of background um, soundscape going on. So um, really, really cool. His voice is really something else. Um, first, I was introduced to him with Japan and uh, everybody, everybody, you know, I didn't, I really don't still know that much about Japan, although it's kind of led me into a whole, uh, you know, YouTube channel. <laughs> Start, I, my first video reaction was a Japan video and uh, all the things that I've come to know because of that video is pretty amazing. Um, I won't get into all that, but uh, I've talked about it before, but uh, a lot of people just said that his solo albums are fantastic. And everything I've heard, I really am surprised, you know, um, it's just such a different sound than from what I've heard of Japan. Um, but I haven't heard that much, but still it, it's, it's a lot different. I, I'm pretty sure of it. I mean, you, you figure, you know, uh, Mick Carnes is not playing bass and his bass in Japan was so iconic. You know, it's his bass playing anywhere was just a very iconic bass style. So it's really kind of synonymous with Japan too as well. So a whole different feel in his solo career and it's really, really, really nice. I like it a lot. So super, super happy. It was a great recommendation. Great recommendation. I love it. I love it. I'm really getting to know him a little bit more. I'm surprised at myself that I'm sort of opening up to things that I might have resisted uh, in the past, you know, and I don't, there's no excuse for it and there's no reason for resistance. Um, it just, you know, just just mind blocks. You know, you play games with yourself and you tell yourself things that aren't real. <laughs> uh, and not that I not that I have anything specific to say about him or whatever. I was telling myself just never had an interest, never had an interest, didn't really know about him, you know, barely heard of Japan. So it's taken me a while, taken me like a year to get a few of these uh, Japan songs and, and David Sylvian songs. Uh, under my belt. So um, I'm learning more and more and more. And everything I hear is just really, really good, really fantastic. Uh, so I would say all you guys that are fans were right. All the ones that said that his solo stuff is excellent. 100% uh, agree, agree so far. 100%. It's just really nice music. And uh, he's got a great voice and a great sensibility to with music and uh, a real uh, craft for songwriting. Um, really, really nice. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you uh, want some more David Sylvian, just let me know here in the comments. You can also go over on Ko-Fi. Also, I've got uh, a full Leprous album over on Patreon that I'm just uploading. And uh, it's the Cole albums, their third album from 2013. And we go through the whole album. Uh, I stop in between some of the songs and talk a little bit about the songs. But uh, if you want to check that out, you can go over there. Um, it's members only for that particular uh album but if you want to join and check it out that'd be super awesome uh, i probably will put a couple of the cuts up on other platforms um, just to let you know that the full album review is over on patreon but uh, hope you guys go check that out if you're leprous fans or uh, lots of leprous on this channel as well so just search leprous in the search area of my channel and you'll come up with a lot <laughs> uh, but david sylvian very very good thank you guys for hanging out and we will check out, we'll check with you in the next video or we'll see you in the next video. And I'll talk to you down in the comments. Let me know what you thought. You know, thank you so much. Bye-bye.